Welcome, little scientists. We've been learning a lot about animals this past year. But today, my little scientists, we are learning about something called fungi. Remember to watch till the end because I have an activity for you. And the story is called We Are Fungi, written and illustrated by Christina Nishiyama. Deep inside the damp, dark forest, hiding behind the pine needles and twigs, can you see us? Do you know us? We are some of the smallest living things on earth. We are some of the biggest living things on earth. We have pores and gills. We have wrinkles and caps. We are white and we are yellow. We are brown and we are pink. The brain mushroom, the puffball. We look like slimy brains and we look like strings of hair. You can see the boletti and the pink oyster mushroom and the lion's mane mushroom and the lemon yellow lapiata. We climb high above and we slither down below. We spread up between dead leaves beneath the forest and we invade the cheese forgotten in your refrigerator door. We grow and hide between your toes. Ooh. We come alive and raise your bread. We also live in poop. We glow green in the dark of the night and we commune in fairy rings. We bulge when the air is dripping and damp. We shrivel up when the air is parched and dry. We have weird names like Veiled Lady and Bleeding Tooth and Chicken Fungus. We are hunted by frantic humans, excitable dogs, and uncontrollable pigs. We are ignored, stepped on, and often never seen. We can delight your taste buds if you eat us, and we can displease your stomach if you eat us. We feed on dead things and we feed on living things. We are kind and polite and we are friends of the trees. We are selfish and rude and we are enemies of the trees. We keep growing and spreading our fingers to connect the plants beneath the earth. We keep growing and spreading ourselves to take over the depths of the earth. We are the kingdom of fungi. We are mushrooms, yeast, and mold. We are fungi. And now you are one of us. Let's go to an activity together and learn about the parts of a mushroom. All right, little mycologists, let's go over the parts of a mushroom. Now, there are different ways you can use these cards. You can play a memory game where you turn all of the cards around and play memory like you would any other memory game where you're matching the cards and you have to remember where they're at because they're all laid um, upside down. You can use these as three-part cards where you actually cut the word off and then you match the two cards and then have to find the word to match as well. Um, I am just going to simply match them just so that we can talk about the different parts of the mushroom. So I have my cards here and the first one is the cap. So if you'll notice the only the brown part of the mushroom is colored and that's to indicate that that is called the cap. So I'm just going to simply match them together. But if you're older, it would be nice to cut the words off and make sure that you're also reading the word and matching it with the proper um, part of the mushroom. 
All right, the vulva is this little cup right here at the base of the stem. Okay, the fruiting body is the whole mushroom. It's called a fruiting body. So I'm gonna put that together. The mycelium is, are these underground, right? Those are really important for plants. The ring is this right under the cap on the stalk, the top. The stipe right there, which we can, this is the stipe which is kind of like the stem of the mushroom. And then finally the gills. If you take the mushroom and look underneath, those, all those little lines, those are called the gills. All right, be sure to join us because we're going to be reading other books about mushrooms and also doing some mushroom arts and crafts. If you don't have this book and you're really interested in mushrooms and fungi, this is a really great book. It's the Usborne Spotter's Guide to Mushrooms and Fungi. And there are so many different mushrooms that you can learn about here. It includes a lot about what each mushroom looks like and the mushroom parts, okay? All right, remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this activity and read aloud. And don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. See you next time.